So you've designed something in Fusion 360 and you're ready to put it into your slicer so you can 3D print it. Hey, Tyler Beck with Tech and Espresso talking about how these files can be uh, handed off to your slicer for your 3D printer faster. Um, one way you can manage these is go up to Tools, Make, and this can launch your slicer right here. And I think it was like maybe two years ago that Fusion 360, they added the ability to do a custom slicer so you can pick yours. And mine happens to be Simplify 3D. I go out and find that executable. Mine was just on my C drive and my program files and it was under Simplify 3D and it was the EXE, the executable. Once I found that, it's mapped and it stays mapped for my next print. And I'm about to bump into a quick problem here, but when I hit slice or I can adjust the refinement, uh, choose kind of the output quality of the file. I'm sending it to the 3D print utility. Ooh, let's look at this. So if we don't send it to, okay, if I send it to the 3D print utility, I hit okay. It's gonna launch this right into Simplify 3D. It even dropped it right in. And there's that file, great. And I'm in my slicer, I can start the 3D print. This is incredibly fast, it's really easy. I love working this way. I have two bodies that I wanna to send to the printer and if I want to send the other, I actually have to select it separately and it sends it into a different file in my Simplify 3D. So I have to like save these out and then combine them, which is a little bit of a pain. So instead, I can select both bodies and do an export as an STL and save that local. And this works great, except for mine takes roughly four to five minutes, sometimes longer. But what if we come into the slicer, we don't send it to Simplify 3D, but we do select that body, hit OK. It's saving this as an STL and that's really fast. Select the other, send it, the other body, save it, done. That's a really cool workaround for me because now if I open Simplify 3D, now if I open my slicer and import the models, I can grab those two bodies that we just did. This is so much faster than when I do an export as STL. I'm curious if it has to do with the cloud translation that I'm kind of at the mercy of being in the queue and I have to wait for that STL to regenerate. It could be that. There could be some refinement um, adjustability there. I'm gonna look into that further, but here's a cool workaround for you guys. By the way, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button so you get notified when my daily tips come in. So to sum it all up, if you're going to, if you have one body going to a slicer, send that thing over um, to your slicer, select the body, it's incredibly fast and it drops it right into your slicer. I love that. If you have multiple bodies, um, you might try doing this method, just turning off the checkbox, selecting um, one at a time, and just hit saving those out as STL. This, for me, is a local save and it's incredibly fast, faster than even doing an export. Looking for more shortcuts? Check out the 44 here, as well as some new exercises for beginners.